So what ultimately got her off the hook after four years in prison? Ryan Smith digs deeper. Weird prosecution theories as well as tabloid tales made the Amanda Knox case so polarizing. But at the end of the day, it was the faulty evidence that overturned the conviction of Amanda Knox. In this case, the prosecution found genetic material from Amanda Knox, but they took it a step further. They theorized that there was a sexual situation between Knox, her boyfriend, and Meredith Kirchner, and that Knox and her boyfriend killed her along with another man. But here's the thing. Experts from the very beginning argued that the evidence shouldn't be admissible because it was faulty, it wasn't recovered properly, and it shouldn't be a part of this case. The jury looked at this evidence and eventually saw there was no connection between this evidence and Meredith Kirchner's death, and it had been contaminated. So at the end of the day, no matter what people thought of Amanda Knox's character, what rang true for the jury was that if the evidence is faulty, the conviction should be overturned. Ryan, thank you so much for that insight on that trial. Do keep it right here on HLN as we bring you up to the minute coverage of Amanda Knox's journey back to the United States after all.